students welcome to the chemquest and to the lectures of basic organic chemistry today we are going to discuss about stereoisomerism and we will see its types in the previous lecture i talked about isomerism and its types stereoisomerism is one of the types of isomerism so if you wish to get the link of the previous lecture i will drop it down in the description below and in order to find the notes to these lectures uh, links in the description are also available so you can go and get these notes so we will see what is stereoisomerism isomers that have the same structural formulas but differ in the arrangement of atoms in the three dimensional space these are called stereoisomers and this phenomena is called stereoisomerism to aise isomers jinka structural formula same hota hai lekin wo three dimension mein that is along x y and z axis उनकी एटम्स की अरेंजमेंट डिफरेंट होती है उनको हम स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स बोलते हैं लास्ट लेक्चर में हमने स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमर्स के मुतालिक पढ़ा था और उसमें मैंने ये डिस्कस किया था कि जो स्ट्रक्चरल आइसोमर्स हैं उनकी स्ट्रक्चर्स को हम एक्सप्लेन कर सकते हैं बाय ड्राइंग इन टू डायमेंशंस दैट इज ऑन द वाइट बोर्ड और ऑन पेज बट स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स दे कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड ओनली प्रॉपरली और जेनवनली इन स्पेस इन थ्री डायमेंशंस एंड और चूँकि हमें पता है कि वाइट बोर्ड या पेपर जो है वो टू डायमेंशनल होता है इस वजह से वी हैव डिवाइज डिफरेंट मैथड्स इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्क्राइब दीज स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स ऑन प्लेन ऑफ पेपर विच आई विल डिस्कस इन द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर्स एनी वेज ऐसे आइसोमर जिनका स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला मतलब मोलिकुलर फॉर्मूला तो सेम होना ही है उनका स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला भी सेम होता है लेकिन अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एटम्स स्पेस के अंदर उनकी डिफरेंट होती है इन थ्री डायमेंशंस। दीज आर कॉल्ड स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स एंड दिस फिनोमिना इज नॉन एज स्टीरियो आइसोमरिसम सो दे कैन बी डिस्टिंग्विश्ड ओनली बाय थ्री डायमेंशनल स्ट्रक्चर्स एज आई हैव डिस्कस्ड जस्ट बिफोर एंड अगेन वी हैव टाइप्स ऑफ स्टीरियो आइसोमरिजम Uh, or stereo isomers and they are divided into two classes the first class is configurational stereo isomers and the second class is conformational stereo uh, isomers uh, so in this lecture uh, uh, we will go through them shortly but in the incoming lecture we will discuss them in detail what is configurational isomerism configurational isomerism is one of the types of stereo isomerism and uh, stereo isomers that can be interconverted only by breaking and making the bonds and they can also be isolated these are called configurational stereo isomers तो कॉन्फ़िगरेशनल जो आइसोमरिज़म है ये स्टीरियो आइसोमरिज़म की एक ऐसी ब्रांच है जिसमें आइसोमर्स और मोर कुरेक्टली स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स की एक दूसरे में सिर्फ तब कन्वर्जन हो सकती है जब हम जो उनके उनके मॉलिक्यूल्स के दरमियान जो पहले बॉन्ड हैं उनको ब्रेक करना पड़ेगा और नए बॉन्ड्स बनाने पड़ेंगे और एज दीज आर इंटर कन्वर्टेड बाई ब्रेकिंग एंड मेकिंग द बॉन्ड्स सो दे कैन ऑल्सो भी आइसोलेटेड तो इनको हम डिफ्रेंशिएट या आइसोलेट भी कर सकते हैं तो ऐसे स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स जिनकी इंटर कन्वर्जन पॉसिबल होती है ओनली बाई ब्रेकिंग एंड मेकिंग ऑफ द बॉन्ड्स एंड दे कैन ऑल्सो भी आइसोलेटेड दीज आर कॉल कॉन्फिगरेशनल स्टीरियो आइसोमर्स एंड द स्ट्रक्चर्स ऑफ दीज आइसोमर्स वी कॉल दैम एज कॉन्फिगरेशन एंड देर फॉर द आइसोमरिज्म दिस इज रिफर टू एज configurational isomerism uh, so again the types 
uh, we have two types of configurational isomerism. The first one is optical isomerism, which is the topic of my next lecture. And uh, the second type of configurational isomerism is the geometrical isomerism. Now, I will talk about conformational isomerism. So, this is also uh, one of the types, basically the second type of uh, stereoisomerism. Uh, and these are the stereoisomers that can be interconverted by rotation about a single bond. Uh, this is, these are called uh, as conformers or rotamers. And this isomerism, this is referred to as conformational stereoisomers or uh, isomerism. Achha, ab ye jo, uh, ye wali jo conformational uh, uh, stereo isomerism hai aur iske natije mein ye jo conformers ya rotamers ya stereo isomers bante hain inki conversion possible hoti hai uh, just by rotation about a single bond theek hai to ye aise molecules mein hoti hai jahan par single bond hi paaye jate hain aur single uh, bond ke ird gird jab molecule rotate karta hai uh, so we can get hundreds or, or even thousands of these conformations aur kyunki ye in conformations ke liye uh, only uh, we need a little uh, amount of energy uh, so these are readily very actually readily interconvertible aur kyunki ye itni zyada tezi se ek se dusre isomer mein change ho rahe hote hain ke inki separation ya inki isolation possible nahi hoti anyways we will uh, discuss in detail about conformational isomerism in the forthcoming lectures uh, so the structures of these uh, conformers these are called conformations and hence uh, the isomerism this is referred to as conformational isomerism uh, here uh, for a general view i have given the example of conformations of ethane so ethane as you know uh, this is an organic molecule with two carbons and uh, its molecular formula is c2h6 so here actually in the center uh, uh, it has got uh, you know two conformations uh, here i have shown staggered conformation and eclipsed conformation so in the staggered conformation actually in the middle uh, carbon is present here and the second carbon uh, this is uh, present exactly uh, at the back side of this carbon and these are six hydrogens um, which are uh, linked uh, to these two carbons so ye che hydrogen in do carbons ke sath linked hai for example ye agle wala carbon hai aur iske sath uh, ye teen uh, hydrogens link, linked hai aur iske piche exactly ek dusra carbon hoga jiske sath ye wale teen hydrogens linked honge acha ab as you can see in this picture as well these hydrogens and uh, also the carbon they are at maximum distance apart from each other wo ek dusre se maximum fasle pe hain that is why this is called staggered conformation jabke jo dusri conformation hai isme uh, sare ke sare atoms they are at minimum distance apart from each other jaise ki ye carbon hai to iske uh, jo piche wala carbon hai wo bhi isse uh, bahut kam fasle pe hoga aur isi tarah as you can see uh, these hydrogens actually these are uh, overlying ye ek dusre ke upar uh, hi hain hote hain uh, lekin just uh, in order to you know differentiate them uh, from one another uh, thode thode is tarah se ye fasle pe banaye gaye hain but these are very close to anyways each other so eclipsed uh, structure mein ye uh, minimum jitna bhi minimum possible distance hai uh, us pe ye stay karte hain that is why this structure is called eclipsed so uh, this is an example of uh, two conformational uh, isomers of ethane that was the end of uh, today's lecture thank you very much uh, for watching this video uh, so if you think that you have understood and uh, uh, you have uh, enjoyed and uh, uh, understood this lecture do consider to subscribe and share it uh, as you know uh, sharing is caring uh, in this way other students will also be benefited from it thank you very much